Hello and welcome to a short presentation on how to find the best times and frequencies to work Bube. 3 Yankee Zero Juliet. I am your host, Yari, Oscar Hotel 6 Bravo Golf. First, I will introduce the Bouvet Island, and then I will show you the special website I made for this DX expedition. We will run a prediction, and then I will explain two parameters, signal power and MUF day that will determine the best openings to the island. So let's get started. In this picture, you can see that Bouvet is over 13,000 kilometers away from Finland in the direction of 192 degrees via short path. The expedition will start in a week or so, and will be on the air for three weeks. When you create the predictions, you can use the sunspot number of 120 or even higher. Now, let's take a look at the island itself. The operation takes place on Cape Phi at the southeast part of the island, marked with a red circle. I have drawn the paths to the east and west coast of the United States, Europe, and Japan. In the U.S. direction, there seems to be some hilly terrain up to 500 meters above the sea level. The direction to Europe is also hilly. Then again, there is no obstruction to Japan or Australia. The camp is ideally located for long path contacts from Europe and the U.S. Let's go to the Special Propagation Prediction Site. It's located at voacap.com slash dx slash bouvet. First, enter your six character grid locator. If you don't know your locator, click the grid locator link to find it. Then, enter the sunspot number you want to use. If you keep the value of minus 1, the predicted value will be used. It will be around 70. Then, select your antennas band by band. Make the selection as realistic as possible. Now, you are ready to run the prediction. Click the button labeled Run VOACAP and wait for the results. It will take a few moments. The site also offers detailed calculations for sunrise and sunset times for the month of February for Bouvet and your location. Click on the button labeled Run Gray Line next to the Run VOACAP button. These times will help you determine the best times for low band contacts. As you can see, there are considerable changes in sunrise and sunset times within one month. All times are UTC. Okay, now let's finally see how the predictions look like. In a band-specific prediction, we are interested in two graphs only. The green graph, which is the signal power or signal strength, and the orange graph, which is the MUF day graph. We also want to look into the gray area on the upper and lower sides of the green signal power graph. The green graph is the median signal power, in other words, the signal strength which is predicted to happen for 50% or 15 days in a month. The signal power can be seen on the S meter on the radio. The scale is on the right side of the image. The upper edge of the gray area indicates the signal strength for 10% or 3 days in a month. Similarly, the lower edge is the predicted signal strength for 90% or 27 days in a month. To find the best operating time in terms of propagation, look for the highest value for the lower edge. However, at the same time, we will need to see what the difference between the lower and upper edge values is. Differences close to 50 decibels indicate that the prediction is likely to be quite unreliable, and VOA cap does not really know what's going on. The smaller the difference, the better. Last but not the least, we'll need to look into the orange MUF day graph. It shows the percentage value for the days in a month that the band we are operating on is at or below the median maximum usable frequency, as predicted by VOA cap. The red dotted line shows the 50% or 15 days mark. The scale can be seen on the left side of the image. In the image, we can see that the MUF day values are well above the 50% mark at 18 and 19 hours UTC. 
the propagation should be good. At 20 hours UTC, the graph has dramatically dropped to around 20%, which means that propagation is expected to substantially deteriorate at that hour. Let me make a more general note about this image. The green and orange graphs and the gray area are for propagation via the short path. You may see that there are three icons in the legend marked with LP that are grayed out and not visible at this moment. You can hide and show the graphs by clicking on the legend colors. The LP stands for long path and those graphs are now hidden. As long path propagation on high bands is expected to be good as soon as the sunspot number increases, make sure that you are also familiar with long path predictions. Please note that there is no gray area for long path predictions. The area will be visible, but it's for short path only. Wait, there is still more. The prediction page which opens after you click the Run DOA Cap button will show two interactive tables, one for short path and one for long path. When you hover the mouse over the table cells, cell-specific tooltips will appear. Inside the tooltip, the letter R stands for reliability, which we have not discussed. It's not relevant for our purposes at this time. The letter S stands for signal power, and the letter M stands for MUF day. Below the prediction tables, you will also see approximate sunrise and sunset times on the hourly level. There are three locations, TX or the transmitter which is Bouve, RX or the receiver which is U, and MP which stands for the geographical midpoint of the circuit. Finally, an important note about the predicted times. When VOA cap says that propagation is good, for instance, at 7 hours UTC, it means a time period spanning from 6.30 to 7.30 UTC. Thank you for watching. Best of luck with working Bouvet using VOA cap. 73s.